If your booting keyboard is not responding or it is having some kind of issue that you can't explain, don't worry, it's an easy fix. There's two things that we can do. First, we're gonna start off with a keyboard reset and then we're gonna take a look at how to restore the whole keyboard. Now, let's take a look how to reset it. In the utility, navigate to the settings, keyboard settings, and there you'll find the option to reset your keyboard. Please note that all your active profiles will reset to the factory default, so please make a backup if you have any important profiles in there. When you're ready, simply click the reset all keyboard settings. After a few seconds, your keyboard has been reset. If this didn't fix your issue, we can go nuclear and reset the whole keyboard to factory default. To start the restore, navigate to the utility settings and then troubleshoot. Here you can find the same steps I'll be explaining right now. The restore keys are different for each model, but rule of thumb is it's always the top right and the most bottom right key. Unplug your keyboard and hold down the restore keys while replugging. If you did it right, then you'll hear the familiar hardware connection sound from Windows and none of the LED lights will turn on. Your keyboard is now in restore mode. When you look into your connected devices in your operating system, it will also show the name Wooting Restore. Make sure to confirm this if you're running into any issues during the restore process. In the utility, you can now select the appropriate layout, ISO or ANSI, and press the restore button. Give the restore process about 30 seconds and make sure you are connected to the internet. So the utility can download the latest stable version, but if you're not connected to the internet, it will use the last firmware it was able to download. During the process, your keyboard will reboot several times and flash different RGB colors. Once the process is completed and all the RGB lights are turned on, it's complete. Your keyboard should be in perfect condition now. That's it. Bye-bye.